so here is the you you set your all the all the all the all the variables of what you need to so you define your you define your your java path and you put it your your server port which port you are free in the in the respect machine where you try to deploy your web web applications the same thing it was in the in the in the in the web service deployment application so it says a different port 5067 now it is the web application has to be run with the 7067 so it's a local host deployment if you have a deployment in the different machines in the networks or somewhere in the in the in, in the part of the world and you have to put it the, the machine number uh, the IP IP address and then this is the, our, our the output uh, our the web application is executed are and you try to deploy the application to the development environments and you push it like that's the part that I said here is is externally maintained externally controlled by this 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 property so is a developing environment deployed and and this is the your default user sa and then this is the this is the part of the configuration so that means you uh, is not hard coded is a dynamic parameter setting the control of the parameter so you see this is the url as we set it here this is the path of the properties and we said it is the values of properties is here so if you have a different machine like the machine in from the from the from from french and you have to be put it here like your ip address and the port or the which port is, is free for these machines and where is it deployed your web services and you put it here and after that you set your all the, the the variables environmental variables and then now you start to, to call the services so here is the the service call call the the script and you, you call you set your path java path you you run your jar applications and with those those properties this is the properties exactly the properties that you have it in the in the in the in the your your application dot properties and application development properties those those properties so that that means it's con completely externally deployed so your job to 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 write those script and put this script give it to the installation department they will just change those uh, this value and nothing that so they will change the machine ip address and the port number and as this part is as it is because the definition of the web service this is one this is the the dynamic part you can set it here where they just deploy directly web applications uh, where a restful uh, uh, web service application and which port are free so that's the that's the, the jump so this is the part uh, it's it's really professional part to to how can you 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 deploy your application into the different environments what if it is in 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 development environment or production environment or qa environments if you are working as a full stack developer if you are working with like uh, my job is to develop the web services then you just put it uh, the jar files and the installation department will be handle those devop culture devop department has to do the, their job if he's not then your job to to do the, all the devop things so that means you have to configure you have to deploy you have to run the application to the different environments so that means our configuration is done yeah it's done what we expect so that means we define our 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 uh, our properties so it's a production is the same thing because every properties just you need to flag it like where in which environment you try to change it and then you have to change those those value into the in the in, in in the script files not here because it's it's is 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 override override the script override the properties from the script so is it all the same thing is here and then same thing is here same thing is here and same thing is here so and this is uh, this is already done so property configuration is done now we try to start our development this is the part of the the configurations and deployment and configurations so so what we did just uh, we we uh, this is the part of the some something like the the internationalizations because uh, if you try to produce your application with multilingual support then you have to be web mbc configuration adapter that means if you write to the this application with german german or english or even though in bengali then you can put it here the the translation part then this is automatically translate the you 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 web web gui url part you mean the the properties part of the application so here if you see this the the i put it like extra 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 directory like the i18 
in n and this is the definition is you can find it here so here is uh, my resource files so that means the when the spring boot application start up they read the uh, will read the the properties file the message message properties and then with different languages so if you flagged it like here the transform the your your message level uh, the, the level and then it's automatically transform the 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 in german french and and default is english so that's that's the so then you you set your all properties that's what you need so in the in the, into the your g in the, into the your html pages so this is the the all the definition what i need those application into the into the my html page so here so that means and then here is the the static folder this is the part of the static folder like css then you put it all the css that you need to the to the your 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 web pages so image that the picture what you need to here so you to put it all the image that's what needed in the in the view, view part build part that's and then here is the is the main part is a template part so it's a you should follow the the structure what i have it here so this is the professional way and this is the the way of the spring boot what suggested to do uh, for for generating uh, those pages or web pages web applications so structure and then you have to be Call as as it is here look like the the ig18n is static and then put it your all css even though you can put it here in the static part all javascript files that you need it to with the, we maybe see with the additional folder or the js and put it all the javascript that you need to the to the to the application so here is the all the html page uh, then let's have a start to the our our part so uh, the development core development part so he did, uh, we did uh, our language configurations it is is okay is very straightforward and uh, this is our our model part what's input and output parameter this is the model is not the the uh, the model for the for injecting the or, or injecting the orm not it's just like we can say the command command objects what we need to to interact the our 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 backend model our, our web service model because the web service has own definitions and then we we try to select we can to input and output objects is is that nothing is there so it's just like simple definition of the of the pojo so it says you said all the parameters in the in the in parameters and out parameter and simple uh, standard getter and setter methods all of them here so it's a simple uh, getter and set all of the classes as simple getter and setter and then and then this is more, most 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 general way to to do the call the 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 apis so here is the our service definition here is the important part this is the interface definition what we try to consume our RESTful API. So we need to, this interface, this is like get uh, open street map, road data information, building information, and then land use information, railway information, nature, point, pure water away, and places. This is exactly, uh, I put it like exactly the same, same the name of the, the web services that have it so it has an input parameter like the OSM road features input input to that means it's all the input object is here if you can look there feature basic and this is the input parameter and the, the result of this the output 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 objects so for this case is very simple this is the only only five input uh, input parameter and output parameter so in the in the in the service definition what we did just look for the 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 previous screencast in 30 up to 36 31 to up to 36 that's all the implementation is there so i will put it in the in the in the source code in the github and even though this source code also the github in the then you can get very quickly very get quickly if you don't cover with these videos and you can just download the source code and build the, your own applications and here's the implementation part it is the important part that's <clears throat> So we, we this is the class and implements the uh, implement the interface that you have it like this is the most important. So we define this this the class as a service definition. So we auto aware. Uh, that's I said this is the most part important so in the presentation part I said normally I use the rest template APIs to to call or to communicate the uh, communicate the rest services to them 
the down level API. So this is the part. So this is at value annotation did read the read the 